Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, today we are going to continue on our curves menu ribbon here. Uh, and today we're going to talk about rectangle. Rectangle is super easy. There's not a lot here that you probably don't know, but there is a couple things uh, and we'll get to those. It'll probably be in the rounded uh, and in the sub options of rounded. So let's go ahead and first just grab a uh, curve and I'll switch that to yellow. Uh, what it does, uh, the rectangle itself uh, will just go from one point or one corner to the opposite corner uh, and you can place it anywhere out here you want, right? Any shape or whatever. You can also turn on grid snaps, of course, and get it to snap into uh, a point that you may need. Uh, and also, if you go down to command line, uh, you have your other options here, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, but you can type in. So uh, you can type in a, a three after you click the first point and then hit enter. And it'll lock you into that uh, widthwise or lengthwise there. And then widthwise, widthwise, you can just type in six and then hit enter and it locks it into a six, right? So let's go back and re-click that. Uh, I'll right click. Uh, so bring back that. Uh, rectangle and I'll click here right and this time what I'll do in my command line is type a negative uh, three and then hit enter and then a negative six and then hit enter so it'll go into your opposite direction so remember negative is down and to the left and uh, uh, positive is up and to the right so if you're going to be clicking numbers that's uh, good to know uh, or if you're going to be typing numbers into your uh, command line uh, that's good to know for uh, certain things if you're wanting to get specific. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and click on our curve. Now, uh, in our drop down, we have all the <clears throat> all these options here, but we also have all of them down here. So we'll just use uh, the command line options, and we'll click on three point. Now, I I, I personally like three point; it offers a lot of availability. Uh, or options right uh, so let's go ahead and click show on here so we have these out here so uh, we'll go to rectangle and we'll go to a three point and now when you click your first point uh, you just uh, you know kind of need to click your second point wherever it may be you can snap to whatever uh, and you can click I'm just holding down shift to keep it at a 90 degree. And then I'm able to move my point anywhere on that line, right? So I, I, it gives me a lot of options to be able to snap to things, right? Uh, but you can also take it off the line and snap it to something outside of your rectangle if you're you're needing a certain size to be matched, right? Which uh, is really good. Uh, it's it's really use, It can be really useful. So you can snap anywhere on the curve or you can take it outside and snap it to a point outside your curve or or your uh, rectangle right now one other thing about the the curve is let's go to a line curve and i'll just put something really sharp in here angled uh and if you go to rectangle and with the uh, three points uh you can use that as a guide right so i'll uh click on the end there click on the end here and then bring it out and it locks it right into that uh, angle of that curve uh, that, that you use to draw it off of, so, which is really useful at times. And then also let's take this curve and let's just drag it way over here. And we'll go back to rectangle uh, and we'll hit three points and this time we'll turn on, turn on project and I'll use my right viewport and I'll go to that top and then the bottom and then I'll drag it out and then click. Uh, it's not on my curve, which is here, right? It snapped it to my uh, C plane or my plane right in the center there, right? So project, it doesn't matter where you click. Uh, let's take this curve here and we'll just drag it up right and then I'll go ahead and use my top viewport we'll go ahead and click rectangle uh, my project is on we'll go to three point and I'll just say here and maybe over here and then I'll draw it out to here and you can see it it's not on my curve up here it projected it down to my C plane which can be very very useful at times so I, I kind of like the uh, uh, rectangle with three point option uh, but anyway let's keep moving on uh, let's go to vertical. Vertical is, if you've not seen any of the other menus, uh, ribbon, curve ribbons like line or uh, circle, uh, what the 
what this will do is, and you have your rounded option, which we'll get to, it's viewer sensitive, viewer port, viewport sensitive. So if I go to my uh, top view and I just hold down shift and draw a box, I can't really see it from my top, right? But I can see it from my front, my right, and my perspective. Uh, so I can draw it to the height I want it, right? Uh, which is uh, really useful at times. Uh, but it's not really a command used very often, but it is viewport sensitive, right? Uh, so let's uh, click there and let's just get rid of that. Let's go back to our front uh, vertical. And if again, if you do it from your uh, front viewport, I can't see it from my front, but I can my other options. Now, one thing that you uh, might want to uh, remember is, let's go in here and I'll just do a box, a regular box. Uh, well, let's do a three point uh, vertical. Okay, so I select here and here. I can't see it from here, right? But your perspective is your top viewport just in perspective view. So if I move it here, it's it's actually moving in my front viewport, right? Uh, but it's in a perspective view, uh, okay? So that's something to kind of keep in, keep in mind that your perspective is really just a mirror of your uh, top. Anything you do over here will be done in, in the top. Uh, as if it, you were doing it in the top, if that makes sense, hopefully. Uh, all right, so let's keep going. Uh, so we have center. Center's uh, kind of you use a lot for many different things. It just takes the center. So if I go to F4, I can draw it, and it'll select one of the corners, whichever side you're on, right? And then you can click your uh, box. Again, you can type in. Uh, and again, uh, if you select uh, center, it'll give you your rounded options. Uh, so there's, uh, you know, if you want to, uh, you can snap it to a curve. Uh, and then, well, snap center uh, and then draw it out around the curve, right? But it's not around the curve. It's just using that point uh, as the center of drawing it, right? The next one, of course, would be around the curve. So now it's asking you to select uh, a curve that you want to draw it around. And now this one's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, so wherever you select on this curve, it'll draw it out at a 90 degrees uh, from that curve, wh wherever it is. And then you can draw your box out there, right? And again, uh, round it, around curve, uh, this curve. And if I select it here, it's going to, I can't move it any direct. It's going to take it 90 degrees out, right? And again, you have your three point or around curve option that you can use with, with that. Okay, so let's get rid of these keep moving uh, and around curve right uh, so this one is kind of interesting let's go ahead and get rid of all this and we'll make this bigger so you can kind of see what's going on here uh, let's go ahead select our curve let's go to rounded and let's just draw a rounded curve out here I have my grid snaps on uh, so if I select here and I want my point my grid snaps are kind of keeping me from doing a lot of manipulation that I want right and you have a sub command with the uh, rounded corners a uh, conic and arc okay so let's stick with conic first I'm going to turn off my grid snap so I have better control so now I can make a real small little uh, rounded corner or I can make a real uh, sharp one right uh, so let's do something like this here right okay so we used we use the conic on this one here so let's go back and we'll select it rounded again and we'll uh, draw another box out here and we'll kind of make it similar to the one that's in the top there. Oh, I forgot. I want to change it. Uh, so we'll draw it. We'll draw it with a rounded uh, corners. And we'll go here. Click here. Now it gives me these options. This time we'll take it to an arc. And we'll make it something similar to the one up here so you can see the differences. All right. Now we'll take these and we will explode them. Uh, the conic will divide your curves into four different curves. It'll divide it into four. So you have this one here, uh, this one, this one, and this one, right? And if you turn on points, control points, uh, these are your control points, and they are not on your curve, right? So, uh, so you'll get your points in each of your kinks right and then they are kinks so if you move them they will uh, stay with a kink just just fyi and then i'll 
hit escape twice one two uh and get rid of those points and then i'll select it and turn on control point edit points right uh edit points actually yeah edit points uh will be on the curve and these things you can snap to to draw lines out to blend things and all different kinds of other things that are very very useful to do now let's go back here this is the arc and let's uh explode this one all right now this one takes it and divides the the rectangle into oh yeah eight different points so now you have one two three four five six seven eight and if you turn on your control points you can see that they're not on your curve uh, so if you well that one is fine this one will create a kink right uh, you can uh, manipulate those uh, you can't really i guess you could use these but not definitely not that to, to draw uh blends off of and stuff like that but it's probably better to use your edit points because they are actually on so if you wanted to draw a blend or something to another curve you can use these points uh you know just draw a little line off of it and then uh, do a blend uh to another uh, curve or you could do uh profile or whatever so let's let's just go ahead and take a look at that for a second uh, just so we know let's go ahead and take this one and we'll uh, rotate it 90 degrees so it's kind of standing up there uh, we'll take this one just drag it out of the way and we'll move this one over a little bit and then let's go ahead and duplicate this one uh from this well actually let's just go ahead hold down alt and drag one out right uh so you can see we have this right so you can go to your surfaces and and let's see uh go to uh profile sweep right and just sweep something like that and you get something like that uh and we don't need maintain height and you can drag that in of course and get your sweep there right uh which kind of actually really uh is very useful so you can only use if you just want to use parts of the curve uh it's it's really cool uh so we'll blend sweep we can go from blend Oop. let's go ahead and complete that command uh, and we have another one so we'll go here and here and we want to uh well that's pretty cool so we have a pretty cool you can really manipulate that one kind of crazy you can put it at zero right zero and zero and you'll just have a straight line uh or you can manipulate it different shapes and use that to uh, do all kind of things with and we'll just go ahead and see it enter now you can go to your uh, surface go to a blend uh, blend from this surface here to this surface here and you can get really crazy stuff uh, going on and oh okay i didn't select uh, go back this corner here to this corner there we go and now you can get uh, different crazy stuff going on lock that so you can really manipulate it quite a bit it offers a lot of options available to you uh, so let's just go ahead and take that. Uh, and then this is a parametric, so you should be able to move that and hit enter record, and then everything will update because it's going to that curve with your record history on. So you, you can really uh, kind of do a lot of crazy uh, editing uh, with something like this, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, uh, so hopefully that'll help you with uh, the rectangle. Uh, not a lot there. It's a pretty easy command, uh, but it does offer a lot of options. I think the most important would be uh, when you do the rounded corners, your two options, uh, arc and conic back here. And those are probably the most useful ones uh, as far as uh, editing type stuff or drawing them out. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, good designing and uh, see you next one.